First thing you do when you wake up? Uh, coffee. Yeah. Make a coffee. You make I coffee. Just wake up and coffee. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the on and off screen moments that made us fall for up and coming star Jacob Elordi. Come on, then. Follow me. Number 10 Fairy Bread. It's no secret to anyone who knows him that Jacob Elordi is proud of where he comes from. Born in Brisbane, Australia, Elordi often speaks about his love for his country particularly his hometown, which he describes with deep admiration. There's something about the houses, like the style of a house, it's called a Queenslander, and it has like an airway underneath it, and you live upstairs. In many interviews, Elordi has been asked about the differences between his home country and America. While speaking to Vanity Fair, he was asked about certain customs, including fairy bread, which is a sprinkle-covered white bread treat. Fairy bread is a classic. Um, it's a staple at uh, any kid's party or any party for that matter. After describing the sugary snack, Elordi stated that it's not only a rite of passage for Australian kids, but it's even good for them. It's a formative meal for Australian youth. While we might disagree on the nutritional value of fairy bread for children, it's safe to say that Elordi has a lot of love for his home, and we can't fault him for that. Number 9. American Accent Is he American? Is he British? Many people are surprised to learn that Jacob Elordi actually hails from Down Under. His on-screen accent is so natural that viewers typically assume that the Gen Z star is American. I don't start fights, okay? I only finish them. From his breakout role on The Kissing Booth to the hit TV series Euphoria, Elordi has been showing off his chameleon skills for years. I love Maddie. I'd never do anything to hurt her. He even gave such a convincing impersonation of Elvis Presley's signature sound in Priscilla that the film's subject was impressed. This is my buddy Joe from back home. Hey, how you doing? Nice Always stuff in his face. <laughs> when finally asked on Jimmy Kimmel Live how he learned his accent, Elordi revealed that his process was pretty straightforward. You know, I think it and then I say it. Yeah, watching American media and listening to Eminem helped him nail the dialect. But as it turns out, Elordi was born to play American characters. You only get one shot, shot do not, not miss, miss your chance, chance to blow. blow. Number 8. Trying the Iconic Mug Sip Let's be honest, most people love a good talk show. By the way, this is the best time I've ever had on the talk show. Over the years, there have been many programs with different hosts, but one thing that is almost always common is the drinks. For those who don't know, guests are given something to quench their thirst while they chat, often in a coffee mug. Not only does this provide guests with a refreshment, but also lends to some hilarious moments where the mug is used as a prop during stories. Everything has tonality to it, so if I were to... <laughs> when Elordi made his first appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, he couldn't pass up the opportunity to take a sip from the mug. I've always wanted to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, you did it right there, yeah. Not only was it a funny moment, but also shows how down-to-earth and relatable Jacob Elordi truly is. Number 7. TV Actor of the Year Award While he might not be that far into his career yet, Jacob Elordi has already earned recognition for his achievements. At the 2019 GQ Australia Men of the Year Awards, Elordi was honored with the TV Actor of the Year Award. The award was presented by Kim Ledger, fellow Australian and father of the late film legend Heath Ledger. Shortly after being praised for bringing his parents as his date, Elordi took to the stage and admitted to ignoring his mom's sage advice for the evening. My mom told me to write something, um, and I didn't. <laughs> While he didn't prepare a speech, he didn't break a sweat, and he not only acknowledged his honor, but also Ledger's impact on the industry. I'm, I'm without words, you know, to, to be able to shake your hand and stand here and hold this and... Uh... Kim Ledger was right. Jacob Elordi is a nice guy. Thank you very much. Number 6. Interview Crashing If you've ever had your parents interrupt an important work call, this one's for you. Whose phone's ringing? As it turns out, celebrities have also been on the receiving end of some awkward situations when taking virtual calls. When the pandemic shut down in-person interviews, Elordi appeared virtually to promote his upcoming projects. While answering questions for GQ's Actually Me segment in 2020, Elordi paused to let his mom know that her phone was ringing. That's your phone. My phone's on vibrate. No, that's your phone. Oops. Yeah, well, look, what is this? What do you think this is? This is Hollywood. Then, two years later, Today co-host Hoda Kotb noticed a few sneaky figures lurking in the background. Who are the people sitting on your bed that I can see in the mirror? You can see them? In the yes, mirror. In the oh, mirror. they're in the mirror. That's my mom and dad. Oh, hi! Elordi is notably very close with his parents, but maybe next time he'll book them a separate room when he has an interview. Number 5. Nervous Boy 
For those who know Jacob Elordi from his hit show Euphoria, it might be hard to separate the actor from his character. You're abusive, psychopathic. Most of the time I really hate the way you make me feel. I know. Nate Jacobs is the definition of toxic masculinity, often ruthless and even cruel in his actions throughout the first two seasons of the show. Luckily, Elordi's real-life persona is quite the opposite. This was made obvious by his first in-person talk show appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live. When speaking with guest host Julie Bowen, he adorably revealed that he was the opposite of calm and collected. You said calm? Like calm Australian man? I yeah. was like, no, I'm like a no. nervous boy. He even admitted to being nervous to meet Bowen, given that he had a crush on her when he was a boy. I actually had a crush on you when I was younger. <laughs> We're both impressed and relieved that Elordi and his fictional counterpart couldn't be more different. Number 4. Cooking Skills Since 2015, Jacob Elordi has solidified himself as one to watch by his incredible acting skills and diverse projects. Not only that, but he's also earned himself the title of Gen Z heartthrob in his short time in Hollywood. Anyone I bring your name up to <laughs> is like a huge fan of yours. Right. He's charming, funny, and undeniably talented. But one box Alordi hasn't checked off? Cooking. You can cook. Husband material. Crying emoji. <laughs> no, actually, I can't cook at all. When reading comments for GQ's Actually Me series, Alordi quickly shut down rumors that he's a good cook. However, there's one dish he has mastered, toast. If you want to sign up for a life of really well-lathered butter and jam on toast, then yeah, absolutely, I'm husband material. Luckily for Elordi, it seems that not all hope is lost as some eager fans offered to make him breakfast. Bon appetit! How you like your eggs cooked in the morning? I don't. Please don't cook my eggs. I'll make my own breakfast. Number 3. Firsts while Jacob Elordi has been popping up on screens more and more lately, he still has yet to become a household name. Luckily, there have been no shortage of opportunities to learn more about the rising star as he makes his rounds through the press circuit. I'm going to ask you a series of questions about your first time doing something. One such opportunity was Jimmy Fallon's Tonight Show Firsts game. In a flash round of Q&A, Elordi revealed many lesser-known facts about himself. For instance, at his first concert, he cried when Eminem departed the stage. Yeah, I wept like a baby when he left. His first celebrity crush was Brad Pitt, specifically in Troy. That's Sarah? a beautiful man. man. <laughs> <laughs> this is no denying it. And the most ironic of all, he admitted that he didn't know any Elvis Presley until he heard the songs played in Lilo and Stitch. First Elvis song you ever heard? It would have been in Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't blame the guy for being honest. Number 2. Starring as Elvis Presley Elvis has left the building. Or has he? Many were hesitant when they heard Jacob Elordi would depict the king in Sofia Coppola's adaptation of Priscilla Presley's memoir. I gotta go do another film, so if you come back and you don't want to school, maybe your parents will let you come back. Yes, but when? <laughs> Especially since it had only been a year since Austin Butler's standout performance in Elvis. While Elvis is not the central figure in this film, Elordi still brought a fresh perspective to the famed singer that distinguished his performance and earned him well-deserved praise. Daddy, I'm lonesome and depressed. The, the colonel's meddling in my music behind my back, telling me how to record. To prepare for the role, Elordi took a mild approach. In fact, his main technique, eating bacon. I average like a pound of bacon mm -hmm. a day. Working with a director like Coppola put Elordi on the map in a big way and set him up for even more exciting collaborations in the future. Whatever you want to do, I'll back you up. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Saltburn While Priscilla proved to be an important role for Elordi, Saltburn was the standout credit on his 2023 filmography. Well, why don't you come home with me? Come to Saltburn. No. Yeah. With ample shock value, the movie became an instant viral hit, stirring up conversation and memification during the holiday season. After starring in a string of relatively similar roles, Elordi proved himself a versatile actor as the aristocratic son Felix Catton. Dress for dinner? Yeah, it's like, it's like black tie. Unlike his previous parts, Felix is actually a pretty nice guy, even if his family gives off weird vibes. Stunning, tell me about your mother. How is she bearing up? 
Still drinking. Stop. The true gift from Saltburn, however, might be Alordi's friendship with co-star Barry Keoghan. The two gently and lovingly poke fun at each other whenever possible, and we cannot get enough of their joint interviews. Which Pokemon were you playing? Fire Red. Yeah, and I had, I think I had Emerald, Emerald Green. Did you watch Saltburn with your family? Did you regret it? Tell us all about your embarrassing experience in the comments below. Duncan, stop being so frightening in front of my friend. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.